I think of God's grace and his love like rain that pours down from heaven. And if you think about a heavy rainstorm, where does the water go? It, it goes to the lowest point first, and then it builds up from there. So when Jesus came and said, I came to bring good news, the gospel, good news to the poor, I think what he meant was it's not just for the poor, but we're gonna start there. We're gonna start where it's the lowest place, and then like a rain that becomes a flood, it's gonna, it's gonna build up from there. So I feel like Hartford is one of those low places, one of those places where God's love and grace can pour into where it's needed the most because of the poverty that exists, because of the challenges that exist. But it's where Jesus went, it's where he started. And I feel like there's, there's an excitement and there's a life to that. And I, and I feel like as it grows, it will become a blessing for other people. You know, it will flow over as it continues to grow. But I see Hartford City Church being a part of that good news that, that, that God's love and grace is for everyone, that you haven't been forgotten. Our mission is really to glorify Jesus Christ and bless the city of Hartford. And we really want to be a part of God's work of restoring people's lives, uh, which we in turn we believe restores communities and cities as well. Uh, the way that we're going to do this is through our values, which we are committed to love all, serve all, and welcome all. Someone has to make that bridge between the separation. So as I myself move into Hartford, I'm hoping to create a bridge so that other people who live in the suburbs can say, yeah, you know, we can go into Hartford and not only just send money there, maybe come and begin to work and to help. And then maybe even more than that, why not come in and build relationships with people, friendships, you know, so that those bridges are being built between uh, the suburbs and the urban areas and, and I think that that's I think that that's vital I think that's really important uh, because I believe that's the move of Christ I believe that Christ called uh, people into relationships with each other and I believe that he called people uh, who were blessed uh, to be generous and to give to others and he, and he called the people that did not have a lot uh, to have hope that they would be provided for that God would hear their cries and he would be with them and I think the move of Christ is to, is to bring those people together. Uh, so like it says in Deuteronomy, uh, when the people of Israel were picking up manna every day, you know, the goal was those who had a lot didn't have too much, and those who had a little didn't have too little. But that everyone was able to eat and to flourish and to thrive. And so I think those bridges I hope to build, I hope that's what my background brings, that I can help build a bridge uh, between uh, the suburbs, between people from you know higher economic backgrounds, it'd be a bridge uh, to develop relationships. I mean, honest relationships. You know, it's it's not just a handout. That's not a relationship. Uh, but, but holding hands together, washing each other's feet. You know, um, crying with someone, praying with someone, babysitting for someone. All those hands-on ways. That's really what builds relationship and is so much more powerful. What I like to say is that in those places that people put down and overlook, if it's not good news there, then it's not good news anywhere. Because that's where it begins in the Gospels. That's where it begins in Christianity. And that's where it begins with us. And I believe that that's where it's going to begin for a revival. I believe for the whole state of Connecticut. That it's going to begin in the most unlikely places with the people who've been overlooked and forgotten. Jesus said, among the least of these, my brothers and sisters, there you're going to find me.